years, many, many words have been written about pub fare, as you can imagine. Newspaper, magazines and books. And local man Jerry Mulvihill from out the road here has added to that tally with his book on pub fare. Jerry, this is Jerry Mulvihill. Hi Kate, how Hi, are you? How are you doing? Very Jerry, good, thank you. When you were researching, I know you've been to Puck every day of your life. Yes, right? yes, but I have. I've only missed one when I was in Australia. One Puck ever. That's pretty good life. going yes. over 30 years. <laughs> but you must have had to do a lot of research for this book. I did. Uh, I was two years researching the book. Um, I did a lot of interviews with the travelling community. Uh, I, Michael Houlihan worked very closely with me. He's a local historian. Uh, I took around maybe 500 photographs and had to narrow that down for the book. And I also hired an artist to do 12 paintings in the book. So it was two years of intense, intense work. Absolutely so wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful, Jerry. And tell me, did you find that there was much differences in the puck today and the puck from, say, 60 or 100 years ago? Yeah, I think puck is changing rapidly, like from decade to decade. I think in the past, uh, some of the traveling community told me it used to be like a, a very heavily a matchmaking fair and it oh, used really? to be arranged marriages and things. So I think that's kind of drifted off. It's less now about an animal fair and I think it's tourism has taken over. Uh, the animal fair used to be in the fair field, now it's in Evans Field. And I think that's slowly fading away and it's becoming just a, a worldwide kind of uh, intriguing attraction for tours, you know. Do you think we should set up a matchmaking service again? Why not? I guess could work. Could be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me, tell me, Jerry, what's the funniest, the oddest, the strangest thing you found out during your research about Puck Fair? Yeah, well, I, I learned a load of things while I was researching the book. Uh, one of the most intriguing things I found out was that before there was a town in Kilorden, uh, there was actually just a castle surrounded by a very high wall. It was called Castle Conway. And there's actually a chapel and a vault underneath Kilorden with, uh, with loads of people buried from the castle before. Wow. And there was loads of orchard gardens around here. And uh, then it changed, uh, it changed into a town eventually. But uh, the goat in the 1800s used to be raised on the top of the ruins of the castle before there was a stand. So I, I found that really fascinating. I didn't know that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jerry, you write pretty much full time. Yeah, I'm a full time writer. Um, this was my third book and I've just released a book a few weeks ago called The Truth Behind the Irish Famine. And it was launched by the Minister of Tourism two weeks ago. So that's just out. But uh, I'll always be promoting all my books. Good. We're going to have to get our hands on a copy of that. Jerry, thank you very much. Kate, okay, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Uh, good morning from Kilorglan, from Puck Fair, and this is the Craft Fair on Library Place. Uh, I'm joined now by Ger, Lisa, and Blanet, who are responsible for what's going on here. And of course, the Craft Fair is a relatively new addition to Puck Fair. Oh, it is, yeah. I think it's only been running about, is it about eight or nine years now? You live in Kilorglan now? Yes, that's right. For how long? Twelve years now. And what are you making here? Uh, my wife, she's making uh, all this stuff which we can see on our stand. So it's uh, versatile capes, Celtic wraps, um, scarves, and even bow ties. So, so just uh, like this one? Yes. Is he, tell me what you do. Um, I make uh, home decor stuff um, from concrete, which is quite original and niche. Um, I make cabinet knobs and hooks uh, and um, I make I work with wood I make uh, signs and I also make t-shirts with uh, similar um, logos and here for Puckfer uh, I made uh, Puckfer theme t-shirts and signs Good afternoon gentlemen Hello. Can I ask you to introduce yourselves and tell me where you're from Yeah I'm uh, Johnny Peacock from Dublin oh. I'm Darren Reedy from Limerick and John Mullen from Dublin now, I have to say, when most people look at you, they're going to think one word, Vikings. That's what I thought when I saw you first thing this morning. But I was right, right? Yeah. Tell me what you do for a day job. Um, we work as extras on uh, Vikings, the TV program. Um, we do that most of the year. You know? yeah. And is that really exciting? Yeah, it has its moments, yeah. It definitely has its moments, yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been working on the series for? Um, only the last year. And, and you? Um, they had me in for a wee bit in season three and four, but most of it's been season for the last year or so. And I've been just basically in for the last year as well, in with himself earlier. Yeah. So tell me, what brings you guys to Puck? Uh, we came to see a goat. Uh, <laughs> have you seen him yet? We haven't seen him yet, no. You're about to, he's going to open the next Can't hour. wait, I'm dying for it. <laughs> and what are you actually doing here? Uh, we're working here, cleaning up the streets. 
Oh good, we needed that. Cleaning the keeping the streets of this mean this town clean. I'm keeping an eye on them doing it, you know. Oh, you're the supervisor. Right, excellent. And tell me, is the best supervision done from the pub? Yes, yeah, I find that, yeah, definitely find that. There's a pub down there with the doors open, I can see right out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's excellent, yeah, excellent. I have, I have one more question. What do you think the chances are of getting a Viking longboat coming up the River Lound for Puck 2018? I think we'll give it a shot anyway. Give it a go, yeah. I'd love to introduce you now to Monica Dukarska, Kilorglin native, originally from Poland, who is currently the World Coastal Rowing Champion. More importantly, she's this year's ambassador for Puck. Monica, what have you been doing while you've been here at Puck? Uh, currently, I'm collecting for Kilorglin Rowing Club, so we have a pop-up stand on the square. So we are doing a competition for like a dog on the rowing machine, so it's great fun, great atmosphere. And we are also sending lines for a raffle. But outside of that, I'm really enjoying the atmosphere and having a walk around and the amount of people that are here is just unbelievable. So it's really great. Plus, it's staying dry, so that makes it <laughs> all the better. Has it been special being the Puck Ambassador? Oh, definitely, yeah. I'd like to talk a little bit about the volunteers who make Puck possible, and especially the medical services that provide provide their cover for us and keep us safe. I'm joined now by Brenda White from Kerry Civil Defence, who has been coming here for? 27 years. That's a very, very long time, Brenda. Oh yeah, and when we started off first, we started sleeping in the fire station on the floor with our radio and mattress, and when we got a call by Angarda Shea Khan or whoever, we'd have to jump into our vehicle and come flying down the road. Whereas now we have a proper medical centre in the CY Hall that is, um, we have nurses and doctors, advanced paramedics, paramedics, EMTs, EFRs, OFAs, CFRs, loads of personnel. Yeah. That's a lot of initials, a lot of very, very well trained personnel. Oh, they are very well trained, yeah, highly skilled. And you cooperate with the Gardaí? We work with the Gardaí, we work with the Puck Fair Stewards, with security, um, the HSE in general, and of course the general public itself. I'm here with Sean Coffey, who is the event medical controller and responsible for the safety of people at Puck Fair. Sean, how has Puck gone this year? Puck has been uh, very, very uh, quiet on the medical side, uh, which is great, and uh, we'd like to thank people for being responsible and acting safely during the festival. It makes our job a lot easier. Have you had huge crowds here this year? We have had a large crowd here for the parade and a large crowd as well last night for the concert. And we're expecting a large crowd tonight as well. Okay, and who is giving you a hand here? Okay, so uh, our medical, uh, sorry, the responsibility for our, our medical aid uh, falls to uh, Kerry Civil Defence, okay, under the control of Tom Brosnan. Um, we have an ambulance controller on site, uh, Paul Bainham, and uh, we have a number of EMTs uh, EFRs and first aiders as well. So they work very hard in through the night. We also have a doctor and a nurse on scene. Um, so we we ha we cater for all matter of emergencies. Um, and thankfully, things have gone very, very smoothly over the last couple of days. I have had an absolutely marvellous pub. Met loads of really interesting people, talked to lots of people. And I actually would like to say a big thank you to all those who did speak to me on camera. It's not an easy thing for people to do. I am grateful. And I hope to see every, each and every one of you back here next year for Puck 2018.